Hello everybody, uh, it's uh, Giacomo uh, speaking, uh, thanks for watching this uh, quick video and update on Tesla stock. Uh, as usual, just uh, uh, using a simple technical analysis, let's see if we can predict the next step of this stock. Uh, in front of us there is one hour candlestick with a very simple exponential moving average with um, a length of uh, 300. Uh, the length can be adjusted just to uh, find the right uh, position this, uh, um, this exponential moving average to work as uh, proper support for uh, rallies. It wor this 300 worked perfectly for this one and for this one. If you're going to reduce it to 200, 250, 250, you see that it worked for this one and that one. So you just need to play around with this length to find uh, the right support for a new rally. But the main thing that this exponential moving average is telling us that it's very trustworthy tool is that uh, the slope is upward slope is just simply telling us that uh, the stock uh, is performing very well and we are in a bullish situation. It's always is going up, keep, keep moving upward. Now, uh, <coughs> without using any tools, it's just an exponential, we can say that exponential moving average is the only tool that we have used, we have already understood that this stock is performing well and is moving upward. Now, let's see what we can say next. Uh, using this is my analysis interpretation as it is, uh, and as we can see, uh, the market uh, is, is performing very well. We are in a bullish uh, market, bullish trend, uptrend, as this one red line is a trend line being tested one, uh, one. Actually, you can start from there, but this one was more a horizontal way, but it was tested one, two, and three times. Uh, so this one uh, gives us a kind of uh, kind of strong trend line, not very strong because it has only been tested uh, three times. It's just forming the third wave, so it's not a very strong trend line. But it can be considered trend line because uh, it's trend line because it has been tested three times. Uh, so uh, because of that, uh, we would like to follow the major trend. The major trend. So the major trend is still bullish trend and. Because uh, it is a bullish trend, the idea is to go long. Oh, now, are we ready? Is this stock ready to keep going, keep moving upward? Uh, based on technical analysis, it seems that the stock can really reach this 600 US dollar per share as target price too. But only the idea is to go long only if the 500 US dollar resistance level will be broken in the next days. If not, the idea is to hold. Not to no. Please don't go short on Tesla now because uh, we have, I have not found yet any reversal signal, and we don't want to go short in an uptrend. Uh, in an uptrend situation, so always try to invest in the same direction. So. Uh, based on that, those considerations, what we can see, what we can say is that this one hour candlestick is telling us that we would like to invest, we would like to go long, but only if the uh, resistance level of 500 US dollar will be broken in the next day and with the first target price of 550 and second target price of 600 US dollar that it can be reached before Christmas perhaps or uh, let's say even after Christmas for the new year we can get up to 600 US dollar if there will not be any price retrace, any price uh, mm, uh, uh, re uh, reversal or uh, in this situation, any uh, because something can up, something can go wrong. If the, the other option that it's still valid, that's that's why I would say we need to wait that this resistance will be broken before going long because this option is still valid. So we can have an option where these prices will start going down up to this uh, new support level of almost 430 before going long. So all are, it depends. Now, if this resistance level will not be broken, the prices, can, the prices can go down and then jump up again. Or if it will be broken now, the prices can start directly to go up upward with the first target price of 550 and second target price of 600 US dollar. Uh, bear in mind that Tesla cannot be personal. What I think I might be wrong. Cannot cannot keep growing uh, so fast. Uh, there will be Chinese uh, EV uh, companies growing up faster than Tesla and there are other 10, I don't know how many, 6, 10, six 8 of them uh, growing very fast uh, in China, like Neo, Lioto, uh, like uh, Xpeng, etc, etc. So they are performing very well. I will see, I will analyze later. You can watch other videos on the other electric cars, but 
overall those electric business is performing very well uh, let's see how it goes in uh, six months because uh, i would say that tesla will start slowing down a little bit where all the other chinese electric cars sooner or later will get the same price per share i don't see why tesla why Tes i don't see why tesla has this uh, high rate price per share i believe that sooner or later the other electric vehicle cars will get up to this level or the opposite side is that tesla will go down to match the other electric cars in the, the other companies in the same business doing electric cars so will go down to match the chinese business chinese shares so perhaps setting a neo is around 50 uh expense is around 40 50 those are the prices so there is almost uh, while with tesla we are almost 500 that perhaps in the next years both of them they will, they will go down up to 230 US dollar per share because they should be on the same page they should have the same value producing the same uh, same uh, same things in they are in the same business producing the same kind of cars electric vehicles and personally I saw the Chinese vehicles are beautiful are very very beautiful cars but anyway so I think that here we are right now, there is a lot of enthusiasm around electric vehicles, electric cars, so the idea is to go long, but just wait the right signal, wait that this 500 US dollar will be broken, and if not, it's going to be broken, just wait that the, price, the prices will go down again, testing this trend line before going up again, and if this trend line will be broken, just hold, because it's a signal, signal of weakness of this stock, and the prices can keep, might keep going down up to this support level of 400 US dollar, and if this support level will be broken, the next one will be almost uh, 270, 280, this one, 270 can be the next support level only if this support 400 uh, US dollar support level will be broken, actually there is another one of 350 to be broken first and then it can go down up to, uh, up to 275, 280, so that's why, so be careful, so that's why for now it's old, just wait the right signal to go long, thanks, bye.